Hello, I'm Officer Better. Today I'll be showing you how to add custom structures to your biomes in 1.16 and 1.17 Java Edition Minecraft. Behind me you can see is a default Minecraft structure, the snowy village, generating in a custom Minecraft biome. This video doesn't cover how to create custom structures yet, I'll, that'll be in the next video, but you'll need to know how to add structures to your biome to make your custom structures generate, and that's why I made this video first. I probably could have done this in one of my earlier videos, but I also wanted to go over uh, which ones are the best ones to choose. So not just how to add them, but like how to choose which ones you want to add. Because to make your biome feel like you want it to feel, you should have all the right structures to add to that feeling. So basically all you need to do is go to your biome, and then go down to starts right here. Uh, and then basically all you have to do is open square bracket and type in the name of the structure you want. If you want to find all the structures that exist, you can download slash lines vanilla default world gen pack from the description. Uh, or you can use structures of your own, which I will go over how to create in the next video. But for now, we'll just be showing you like which of the default structures you should be choosing. So let me just open slice lines pack. All right, so then you want to go to world gen and then configured structure feature. And then this is a list of all the possible structures in the game. I actually did not realize there were so many ruined portal structures. I guess because they have to generate differently sometimes. So yeah, you can see, depending on the type of biome you have, you're going to want to put in a different ruined portal. But then again, if you're putting your biome anywhere besides the nether or the overworld, the ruin portal will not work, so it does not make sense to have a ruin portal. In general, if you're doing a custom dimension, don't use any of these ruin portals, uh, because they just really don't make that much sense to exist in a dimension where you can't make a portal to the nether. And then a few things to note. Uh, the Bastion Remnant works best in worlds with the same sea level as the nether, because the way the Bastion Remnants work is they generate at the nether's lava level. But then you're also probably going to want to pick a village of some kind to put in your dimension. As I said, I will go over custom structure in the next video, because I think I want to put in a custom village later, and I'll just replace this village with that when I come to it. So um, I'm going to put Minecraft village underscore snowy. And what this will do is it will generate a snowy village in my biome. And to determine like how often that village will generate, that is in the noise settings. And so if I scroll down to village right here, you can see they will be about 32 chunks apart, but they will generate at a minimum of 8 chunks. So for example, if you put two village types and you wanted them both to generate the same amount as a normal village would. So basically you want twice as many villages and you want half of them to be one type and half of them to be another. Then you could just change this to 16 and this to 4. And the villages will be basically, they will exist twice as often and half of them will be of one type and half of them will be of the other. And then, let's see. So you'll see there's two types of mine shafts. There's the mineshaft mesa and the regular mineshaft. If you don't know what the mineshaft mesa is, it's a mineshaft except instead of having oak, it's dark oak, I think. And it also generates on the surface sometimes, which is kind of weird. So I don't really want a mineshaft, but you could just choose the mineshaft that's best for your biome. Also, one thing to note that's important about villages is the way that villages generate, they will always generate with skylight, so for example, they don't work in the nether because they will try to generate on top of the nether roof. So if that's what you want, then, you know, you could add that. But if you're doing anything with a roof, the best structure to use is a bastion because they will always generate at, I think, Y32, which is the lava ocean level, so they are guaranteed to generate, you know, below the roof. So if you want a village in the nether, then you can create a custom one using the bastion structure. And again, I'll go over that in the next video. Uh, so I think I'm also going to add an igloo. Maybe also a pillager outpost. 
So Minecraft Pillager Outpost. And so none of these structures are final. Um, everything in my dimension is going to be a custom biome with custom structures. So a few more things about the structures. What I already mentioned is the Bastion Remnant will always generate at Y32. Uh, so that sometimes will generate in the ground if the ground level is, uh, well in the overworld it's like an average of 68 I believe. Desert Pyramid also generates at a certain level. Uh, I think it's 63 which is water level. And that is why sometimes you'll see that they're completely covered by sand. I believe the Jungle Pyramid also generates at the same level as the Desert Pyramid although I might be wrong. Mansion needs skylight, I think. The monument, which is the ocean monument, always generates with a box of water around it, which is annoying. So don't put this in anything that isn't already like an ocean full of water or something. Ruin portals, again, as I said, um, it's probably best not to put them in a dimension where you can't access the nether. Stronghold is a stronghold, swamp putt is a swamp putt. Then, of course, the villages all need skylight to generate as I assume most of these do, besides the nether ones. What I'm going to do is create a single biome world for my, uh, for my custom biome, so that way I can really see all the structures and things, because if I just do it in the dimension, then it might be hard to find all the structures. So to do that, I'm going to go to more world options, and then choose single biome, and then uh, it'll be your namespace, and the name of the biome. So this might be at the bottom of the list or at the top of the list, it depends on if your namespace comes alphabetically before or after Minecraft. So because mine is F and Minecraft starts with M, it is before. So I'm just going to click on this and then click done. Um, and then that should be it. So as you can see, it's not nighttime and that's because I'm not in the custom dimension. This is just the overworld. Um, I am not quite sure why there's no particles, but I don't know. Anyways, as you can see, here's a snowy village that's generating. Uh, because if you remember, I told it to generate snowy villages. If I told it to generate any other type of village, then it would be that village instead. Um, again, someday this will be a custom village. Notice that there are still grass blocks here. Don't want any grass or dirt in my dimension. And I also don't want that many trees. So this will change when I make a custom one. But I think overall this is looking pretty nice. So if I do for instance slash locate igloo, then I can just click on that and find an igloo because I made igloos generate. Oh dang it, it doesn't have the doesn't have the basement thing. And if I do slash locate pillager outpost, then I'll be able to find a pillager outpost. Let's see how good does this look. I actually think this looks pretty nice. I think I'll do something like this then. But then if I do slash locate mansion, you'll see there are no mansion structures. If I do slash locate uh, buried treasure, there are no buried treasures. Uh, slash locate mineshaft, there is no mineshaft. And again, you'll notice that when I do slash locate, that is by the type of structure and not the, um, not the name of the structure. So what I mean by that is you'll see in the starts in my biome, uh, this is all the name of the structure from that structure file I showed you. But for example, if I go into, um, let's see, go into the village snowy file, then you'll see it says type equals uh, Minecraft village. The only thing that's different is the start pool here. And that is something I'll go into in the next video. And that is also if you go into the noise settings, the name of the... Uh, name of the structures that show up here. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, or if you have any suggestions for stuff you want me to cover in the future, you can ask me those in the comments, or you can join my Discord server and ask me there. And the link to my Discord server is in the description. Thank you guys so much for 110 subscribers. That's 20 more than last week. I didn't even get to thank you guys for 100. I appreciate every single one of you. As I've been saying in the last few videos, as we keep getting more and more, I really didn't expect to get this much. Thank you guys for joining my Discord server and giving me suggestions and stuff for what you guys want to see. 
I wasn't going to cover custom structures until a later video, but several people have said that they wanted help on custom structures, so that's why I'm doing that now. I really appreciate you guys, and I just want to keep uh, creating more videos that are helpful to you. Thank you guys so much for watching.